What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to talk about prestiging in Black Ops Cold War. As you can see here on screen, I did hit prestige yesterday. Um, it's not quite as exciting as it was in past Call of Duty games. One reason, of course, is you keep everything in game. You're not losing anything. It's not like past COD games where you know you might get a, a prestige token to carry one thing with you, but everything else resets. You keep everything you've unlocked up to level 55, uh, perks, weapons, everything. The score streaks, nothing changes. All that stuff is still there, just like your level 55. Uh, the other thing was, of course, you know, in past Call of Duty games, we got to go in and actually click prestige, and it would say, are you sure you want to prestige? And you'd hit yes. And you'd say, once again, are you sure? And you'd hit yes, and then it would actually put you into that prestige kind of mode. Uh, now it automatically just ranks you into prestige after you go all the way through level 55 with the XP that you need. So once you hit 55, you will have to completely fill that circle up once again with XP, but I was in the middle of the game and finished my XP through 55 and I hit prestige one automatically. So it doesn't even ask you anymore. It just automatically puts you into prestige one, which like I said, it is a prestige system. A lot of people wanted that in modern warfare. It is a good bit different than the old system that a lot of people are used to. I, I, it's still a grind to, you know, go through all this stuff. But at the same time, I think a lot of people like the grind of prestiging by, by having to be reset, not having you know, any of their equipment or weapons or attachments and that kind of thing. Um, or, you know, not necessarily attachments or score streaks. You know, a lot of people like to be reset completely. Uh, this time it's a lot different. Um, so it's going to be a bit easier in my opinion. People that have never prestiged before will actually get a chance to this time. So that is a good thing. I understand why they did that. Because um, like I said, if you've never been a person that likes to prestige because you didn't want to lose everything, you don't really have to worry about this that this time. Now, once you hit level 55, you know, you're going to go ahead and go into that automatic prestige one rank. Like I said, you can kind of see how this is going to work after you hit Prestige. You can see that I am at level 1. I have a little bit of XP on that bar. I did get a sticker and a uh, Prestige key and an emblem. The Prestige key will not be able to be used until Season 1 starts on December the 10th. You can kind of see at 50, you get Prestige 2 uh, with a sticker and an emblem and a Prestige key. And the same thing at Prestige 3 at 100. Now, exactly, uh, it's not exactly like I said, like it was always or always has been in the past. Of course, once you hit 55, like I said, and you earn enough XP to gain another level, you will automatically hit that Prestige 1. Um, then, kind of at that point, you'll enter the Seasonal Leveling System, is kind of what it's called, which ranges from 1 to 1,000. This will reset each individual season. So as soon as a new season starts, so let's say we're in Season 1, we go into Season 2, you're going to restart, and you can be able to go back to that 1 to 1,000 again each individual season. Right now, of course, we are in that preseason phase. You don't have to worry about all that. Uh, that, like I said, that season one does begin on December the 10th. Uh, once a new season does begin, when we get to that point, you, uh, your level will reset to the maximum of 55. So everyone will be reset to 55. Pretty much like the same progress that you had uh, or the same concept as it was in Modern Warfare. And you'll be able to earn additional prestige levels. Each season comes with three prestige levels, uh, which have their own rewards. But you can level them up to a maximum of a thousand in any given season and earn milestone rewards every 50 levels. So that kind of shows you what the one, the 50, and 100 are. Of course, this is the preseason. There are three prestiges. So, like I said, you're going to get one at one, a prestige two at 50, and prestige three at level 100. Um, like I said, those prestige keys, you don't have to worry about those. You can, you will be able to use those in the prestige shop, which will come out on December 10th with the launch of season one. But anyway, guys, like I said, it's a bit of a different system. Just kind of wanted to break it down, let you guys see exactly what happens. Kind of also tell you it's not really as exciting, in my opinion, as it used to be. Uh, I used to love grinding prestige. Um, also, it's not really as exciting, in my opinion, once you hit that prestige rank. Because you're not going in there and actually physically hitting the button to prestige. And it asking you, like I said, you know how it did in the past, over and over, if you're sure you want to prestige. It just automatically rolls you into that prestige one level. But it is some very cool emblems, I will say. And it is a pretty good system, in my opinion. Uh, kind of a mix between what we had in Modern Warfare. Uh, kind of a mix of the old prestige way. Uh, the old way of prestiging in other games. And also, this is... A good way, in my opinion, to get people that have never prestige to get into the to, to the grind, I guess, of continually uh, continuously playing the game and not really having to lose anything. We'll kind of see what everyone's opinions are when once everyone in the game starts hitting prestige. But I just want to let everyone know kind of what happens once you first get to that point and what kind of what can you kind of expect 
to happen after you hit Prestige 1. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thought. Let me know, have you Prestiged yet? If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you don't know all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.